guys today's video i'll be talking about cutting walls in revit architecture so to create a cutting wall we we'll first need to go to a plan view so we'll be going to dpc to the dpc okay in case you don't know this is my project i've been using for the previous tutorials and the previous um, tutorial videos so we'll be using it for today's video which is on cutting walls okay the first thing i'm going to do is to remove this exist these windows i placed here before earlier so there will be space to accommodate new cotton walls so to create the cotton wall i'll we'll go i'll click on under the architecture bar i'll click on walls then under walls i'll click the drop down icon to look for cotton wall okay okay now i've clicked this cotton wall now so the first thing to do when before drawing a cutting wall is to set the constraint. We am currently the base constraint is in DPC, which is okay, and the top constraint is unconnected. So it just it's just it's basically it doesn't have any level it's assigned to. So I'm going to put this unconnected to zero. Then okay, there's an error. I need to put it in assign it to a level first so i'm going to assign it to roof level okay lintel level let me just use ceiling level okay so first before i start placing the cotton wall on any wall the first thing i'll need to do or oh, sorry the next thing i'll need to do is to um, click on this edit type to edit the cotton wall okay the function is exterior which is okay um, make sure you tick this icon, you tick this checkbox that stands for automatically embedded. The cutting wall panel, you change it to glazed, system panel glazed. Okay. Then this um, vertical layout, you leave it at none. You will see the reason why when I'm, um, as I explain further. Okay, so we're going to click OK then draw we cut the cutting wall let's just make it six meters okay so we have successfully drawn created a cutting wall so if you notice let's go to 3d and see what you just created okay i can delete this for now okay as you can see what we've created what we've created is just a plain like a plain glass so i'm going to show you guys how to apply munions uh, like arrange munions and place even place doors or windows and cotton walls so we'll start by arranging munions so the first thing to do to arrange your munions is to glue to, on this architecture bar please don't mind the background noise on this architecture bar you click on this cutting grid icon so this cutting grid icon will enable you to place grids in which the munions will be um, placed so let's just create 1.2 meter grid 1.2 meter grid 1.2 meter grid and let's make the a horizontal grid of let's use 900 okay so after we have um assigned these grids we're not going to go to mullion so the first thing i usually do is to edit the mullion i want to use so currently is in rectangular mullion 50 by 150 millimeter. Okay, you click on edit type and duplicate. And let's just name the mullion as mullion 1. Mullion 1. Okay. Um, the material of the mullion is aluminium. So the thickness, let's just reduce it to 100. And click and so once we have edited the mullion you will now go to this section where they stated edit grid um, grid line sorry um, grid line segment and all grids so i'm just going to click on all grids to change all the grid lines to mullions we have successfully assigned mullions and grids to this okay so going back to the plan again i'm also going to show another the regular variation of cutting wall which is storefront storefronts um although most of these 
um, wall families in Revit, you can edit any of them to have the properties of another one. Like, because it's basically someone that edited um, in this template, someone that um, edited it as storefront and edited, you understand what I'm saying shortly. Okay, so to select storefront, let's see what this storefront does. Okay, so the parameters is still at base constraint at DPC and the top constraint at selling level. So we're going to edit it. So the first thing you notice is that in this storefront, uh, it has a, um, a spacing, a given spacing number. So this given spacing number means that if, for example, if you set it at the vertical spacing as it's 1.5 now, it means that all those mullion spacing will be 1.5 meters and they will, you will not be able to change it manually like how I did previously. You, you will not need to place grids and um, apply mullions on them. It will just automatically um, come out like that. So let's just change this to 1.2 1 millimeter. That is 1,200 millimeter and um, 2.1 as horizontal grid. The horizontal, the spacing between the horizontal grid and click on fixed distance. The same. Okay. So we can still select the munion, the munions you want to use for this storefront. So select rectangular munion one. Just change all these munions to the munions we originally created. Can we also click? You remember to always check this automatically embedded. Unless you don't want the thing to embed into the wall of the wall. Okay, so let's draw another one. Okay. So you notice it seems like we just created the same thing. But it's actually different in the sense that the first one I created, I think that is this one. If you, I can easily change the grid spacing to let's just change it to 600 here so you see i can easily adjust the grid so what i just need to adjust this grid now is to tab to click on the tab button once i click on it i just change this dimension to maybe 600 so i can adjust this grid in, in this cutting wall i created but in this storefront with the parameters we set i cannot adjust any of the grid the grid is fixed distance so even though i try to change it to 1.5 meter it won't work because it's a fixed distance i hope you guys understand so the next step um, the next thing i'm going to show you guys in this video is how to embed put doors and windows in your cutting walls okay so as you can see if we try and just carry a regular door from the door family and place on cutting wall it will show can't create cutting wall munion it will just be causing issues so what the first thing to put doors in cutting wall we will need to import a cutting wall embedded door family so to do that you click go to click on the insert bar then click on import family load family so under load family you will go to if you have a good revit library it should has it you you should have where cutting wall panels are so let me open my own Revit library so you see it's cutting wall panels so there you have cutting wall i have cutting wall doors cutting wall windows so we are going to import let's just say two doors and let's use two windows we're going to import some cutting wall panels now okay okay so now the um, the families have successfully imported being imported so we're now going to put some cutting wall doors and some windows and doors in this cutting wall so to do that the first thing you should do is to tap you should click tap button and select a panel in the cutting wall you see i just tapped it i clicked on the tap button now to select it after you've selected the panel you see you can't be able to change it or anything 
so the thing you are meant to do is to unpin it here so once you unpin it you now click on the drop down button then let's change this one to cotton wool door so have you seen that we we'll successfully placed the door on the cotton wall so let me just delete this manure i don't need it so this is a door on the cotton wall so as you can see on the floor plan it's reflecting okay let's just try and place a window too so it's basically still the same step okay, i've selected the panel i unpin it again then select a window let's select the cotton wall window okay so we have successfully placed a cutting wall door and a cutting wall window a door and a window in the cutting wall so if okay now for this store front too we can also do the same tab it okay it's already unchecked and change it to change it to window we have changed this one to window okay guys and there you have it we have successfully created a cutting wall and a storefront and placed windows and doors in there okay guys do well to hit the notification bell the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this thank you